Hi friends, let's understand one more property of Laplace transform and it is called as change of scale property. Now what exactly is change of scale property? So for this let's understand the definition of Laplace transform. Now you all know that Laplace transform of any function of t is given as integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt and whenever we evaluate this integration we get answer as phi of s that is some function of s then what is the use of change of scale property so by using change of scale property we can find out answer or i'll say we can find out laplace transform of f of a t that is function of a t so as you can see that this t is getting multiplied by a so it's called as change of scale in mathematics so to find out laplace transform of f of a t we will use again the definition of laplace transform so let's substitute this f of a t in place of f of t so by definition we will get 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of a t dt now to find out this integration we will use method of substitution of integration so by substitution i'll put a t equal to u hence this t will become 1 u upon a now if I find derivative on both sides, I will get a dt equal to du. That is dt equal to du upon a. Similarly, as I am changing this integration from t domain to u domain, its limits has to change. So, the limits will become, now it is in t. For t, it is 0 to infinity. Let us see what we get for u. So when t is equal to 0, I will substitute t here. So 0 into a is 0. So u will become 0. Similarly, when t is equal to infinity, infinity into a is infinity and u will become infinity. It means limits are not changing in u. So therefore, this Laplace transform of f of a t will become 0 to infinity as limits are not changing e raised to minus s this t is nothing but u upon a so u by a into f of a t now a t is u so it will become f of u and dt is du upon a now as you can see this 1 upon a is constant i will take it outside the integration and we will get 0 to infinity e raised to minus of s upon a into u into f of u du now to evaluate this integration i will compare this integration with the definition now let's compare it with definition now you can see that the definition is in terms of t and this integration is in terms of u so instead of dt we are getting du over here instead of f of t we are getting f of u now here as this function is in terms of t this s is a constant over here and here this s upon a is a constant so as you say that the answer of this integration is phi of s because s is a constant so here the constant is s upon a so i will say the answer is phi of s by a and therefore we get a formula for laplace transform of f of a t that is 1 upon a phi of s upon a so this is the property of change of scale so using this formula you can solve multiple problems in laplace transform so to understand it let's take one example if laplace transform of f of t is equal to 2 upon s cube into e raised to minus s then what is laplace transform of f of 2t now see here Laplace transform of f of t is already given. We will consider it as phi of s. So, I will say let f of t that is Laplace of f of t 
is 2 by s cube e raised to minus s is equal to phi of s. Now to find out Laplace of f of 2t I will use change of scale property. So by change of scale property we will get Laplace of f of a t is equal to 1 upon a phi of s by a and hence Laplace of f of 2t will become 1 upon 2 phi of s by 2 because a is 2. Now to find out phi of s by 2 I will use phi of s. So in phi of s wherever I will get s I will just replace it by s by 2. So here 1 upon 2 is as it is. Now here in phi of s 2 as it is s cube. Now s will be replaced by s by 2. So we will get s by 2 the whole cube e raised to minus s. So s is replaced by s by 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. 2 cube is 8 which will go in the numerator and it will become 8 upon s cube e raised to minus s by 2. And this is the answer of Laplace transform of f of 2t by using change of scale property. Thanks.